I'm going to show you how to run an internal reliability analysis in SPSS for a scale. So I have a scale here, uh, BA1 to BA8. There are eight questions on my survey, and here are the questions right here. And I asked students to predict in the next six months how likely it is that they would use a word processor, uh, use an education specific software package, use the World Wide Web, use email, do a significant educational task, investigate software, and then so those are the items. And then I have my scale and they would rate extremely li unlikely, likely, somewhat unlikely, unknown, somewhat likely, and right up to extremely likely. Okay, so it's a seven point scale. And I want to see how well those items correlate with each other because I'm going to add up those numbers and get a total for my scale and I want to convince people who are reading my paper that I'm at, that that's a fair thing to do that these items are related and that they measure something similar so what I do is I go to analyze and it's a scale it's a scale analysis and reliability analysis all right so analyze scale reliability analysis and then I select the items that I want remember I can press the shift key and go down here to that BA8 and send them all over so those are the items that I want to take a look at and here are the statistics I want means and standard deviations for each item I want a mean and standard deviation for the whole scale and I guess I could do click the means here. I think that might give me the whole scale, the means for the whole scale. So I'm going to click OK and then OK again and here is what I get. Now uh, it tells me how many valid cases there are. So there's 168 in this case and then it gives me the actual internal reliability coefficient. It's going to be between 0 and 1 and in this case it's 0.92 I round it up 0 0.92 that's my internal reliability I would say R equals 0 0.92 for this scale which is really high it means that they they stick together I also will report the means and standard deviations for the entire scale you would do this in a table if you were doing a scale analysis so that people could see the variation there uh, and then I can look at the scale statistics and the average mean for all items which is 5.1 if I'd like to and then the mean for the whole scale and the standard deviation and the number of items alright so that's the information you get from an internal reliability analysis what you're looking for is this value Kronbach's alpha is what it's called named after the person who I suppose invented the statistic and in this case it's 0 0.092 that's quite high we're usually anything above 0 0.80 is acceptable internal reliability in social sciences and education